Hi, Dave from Dave's Guitar Shop here, going over some guitars from the collection today. We've got a lovely 59 Jazzmaster Gold Guard, three-tone sunburst here. Wonderful guitar. I don't, don't recall where this one came from, where I got it from. And I'm not the biggest Jazzmaster fan or Jaguar fan. The only reason I even started collecting Jazzmasters and Jaguars is because you could really get uh, you know, they made a lot, a lot of custom colors, especially in Jaguars. Um, that you, it would be, you know, impossible to find on a Strat, or you'd have to pay just enormous sums of money. And back when I started the collection, I, I could buy custom color Jaguars and Jazzmasters all day long for $500. That was kind of like my ceiling. So I, I, I bought a lot of those at the time. Um, I'm not sure if this one came in that, that time frame or not, but never been a big fan of them. I, I, to me, the, the bridge. You know, it doesn't have enough angle from the tremolo to play, and you, you play hard, you knock the strings off, whatever. But a lot of fans for these, especially lately. Um, I've always been searching for, uh, I don't know if I saw it in a catalog or, or somewhere, but a, a, a 58 Jazz Master with a gold guard and a maple fingerboard, a maple neck. Uh, never seen one in person, but uh, anybody out there knows where there's one at or, or knows of even photos of any I'd, I'd love to see that that's been a dream of mine to find one of those but um this is the next best thing the uh kind of one of the earliest jazz masters the slab board the gold guard uh we'll have uh casey play this one for you because he's, he's a jazz master nut loves them can't live without them mm -hmm. 